Hi guys, so in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add a TikTok pixel to your WordPress website. So I'll show you step by step on how you can actually do that and how you can go ahead and add TikTok pixel HTML to your website. So let's go ahead and get right into that. Now, firstly, you're going to want to actually create an account with TikTok ads. Now, if you don't already have an account, it is actually free to create one. So go ahead and create one by clicking the create now button here on the TikTok.com business page. Now, once you go ahead and do that, you you should be brought to this page right here which is essentially the ads manager now here you'll be able to find all of the analytical views regarding you know your active ads disapproved ads at a budget underperforming ads as well as you know the cost impressions your epcs you know much more right so basically here in this page you're going to want to make your way to the top now here you'll be able to see four options we have the dashboard campaign assets and reporting now we want to look for the tiktok pixel right so you're going to want to head over to assets and under assets click events now once you do click events it'll actually bring you to this page right here so there's app events or web events but since we're actually going to integrate it into a website our tiktok pixel go ahead and click web events and manage here so once you do that you should go ahead and get this little page here introducing full funnel setup you can go ahead and read this but i'm just going to go ahead and skip now here you can see that we actually have the option it says in order to create conversions you need to install a tiktok pixel first so basically go ahead and click create pixel here and it'll go ahead and give it the create pixel option now we actually have the manual setup option or we have the partner setup option now I'm gonna go with the manual setup here and then after that go ahead and click next now here you're gonna to want to give a name of your pixel so I'm just gonna name this TWG for the web guide for short and we're gonna go ahead and click next now once you do that you should get brought up to this page here and it's gonna go ahead and say pixel created right so all you have to do here is basically just look for what you're gonna to want to go ahead ahead and you know uh, create your pixel out of right so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the click button here go ahead and add that and then add to awareness and we'll go ahead and do uh, add to consideration and we'll just do that right so basically once we do that it'll go ahead and just pretty much build the whole entire funnel events for our pixel go ahead and click next you can actually skip those events but basically we are now going to get the select event setup method now the first step that we did do right now building funnel events you don't necessarily have to do that so you can go ahead and skip it there's there should be a skip button at the bottom right hand corner now for the second step here you're going to want to add the parameters since we're actually going to integrate this into our wordpress website you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and untick events api and just leave the custom code by itself now now, once you do that, go ahead and click next. Then you should get brought up to this page here, and it's basically just going to go ahead and automatically check all of this for you. Now, you don't necessarily need to actually, you know, um, just do this. You can go ahead and skip the step. It should say your existing changes won't be saved if you skip. Missing key parameters may impact your campaign performance or ad spending. So, if you want, you can go ahead and do it, but I'm not going to do it for this video. So, go ahead and click confirm here, and here you'll be able to actually see that we actually have a few instructions to finish the setup of our TikTok Pixel integration into our WordPress website so basically here you can see we have the event setup methods as well as the custom code so all we have to do here is view the instructions to this and you'll be able to see here that it actually does show us the pixel code here now if we want to go ahead and add this we are going to have to do a couple of things in our wordpress so go ahead and copy the pixel code here and once you go ahead and do that make your way into your wordpress dashboard here you can see i'm currently using pantheon right now but uh, it's the same thing as wordpress here so basically i'm going to make my way down to the plugin section under plugins go ahead and click on add new so once you do that you should get brought up to this page where all the plugins will be placed now once you're here you're now going to want to make sure that you actually search up this plugin it should be called wp code once you do that it should come up right here you can see that we actually have wp code insert headers and footers custom code snippets wordpress code manager now you can see there's a lot of active installations and it has a pretty good rating on it right so i'm going to go ahead and install this now and we're going to go ahead and wait for it for a bit and then we're going to want to go ahead and click on activate once we do that it should be able to actually activate the actual plugin and basically it's now ready to actually be used so basically you'll be able to find this at the bottom of the panel right here and it should be actually called code snippets so it should be right under the all-in-one seo if you don't have that it should just be called code snippets now here you're going to want to click on code snippets now 
uh, you're going to want to actually check these out and basically um, you're just going to want to actually add a snippet right below right here where it says or where my cursor is at go ahead and click it now you should be able to see here that we actually have a few snippets that we can actually add now we actually have svg files we have your custom code uh, disable commons update emails automatic updates all these other snippets right so basically we're going to want to go ahead and click the very first one which is the add your custom code new snippet so go ahead and click use snippet here once you do that you're now going to want to actually copy the code that you did get here on your pixel you can actually download pixel code or you just copy it um, just go ahead and click it and you see that it is actually copied to our clipboard so all we have to do here now is go ahead and set it here in the code preview and we're going to want to actually go ahead and paste this here now you can see here we have not placed it and you're going to want to make sure that this is on auto insert make sure that this is on site wide header and basically you can actually just set this to any device type and you can see here that we actually have basic info you can tag it note it whatever it may be so uh, another thing that we do have to do in order for this to work is there should be at the top right hand corner over here uh, a little status right here it currently says inactive you're going to want to make sure that this is actually active and go ahead and save the snippet now once you do that it should actually come up and you see that the snippet has been created and saved so all we have to do now is just pretty much just uh, head over we can do the header and footer as well and this one works well as well so go ahead and do the header here you don't have to do the body or the footer header is most necessary and go ahead and make sure you go ahead and click those save changes so once you go ahead and do that settings have now been saved now basically we have now gained access to our uh, TikTok pixel our TikTok pixel has actually been integrated into our WordPress website so basically you're now going to want to go ahead and make sure everything is working check your plugins uh, you can see here that our plugins are currently working WP code light you can actually get the pro version as well but I think w uh, WP code light just works as well um, if you want to get a little bit more you know uh, you know ele elevated and in a level um, you could get WP code pro but uh, WP P code light does work pretty well so basically all you're gonna want to go ahead and do is just check make sure everything is right uh, usually I do the code snippets you can see the code snippet right here untitled snippet now you can check this out since we actually did uh, the header and footer already you can actually head back and you can actually delete this untitled snippet and trash it so uh, our header and footer should be good since this is actually saved and it's now integrated into our website. So basically that's how you go ahead and add a TikTok pixel into your WordPress website. It's super easy and it's very simple. So with that being said, if you found this video very helpful, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel. With that being said, if you have any comments, leave them down below. I'll be sure to check those out. That being said, have a nice day everybody and I'll see you all until next time.